On Tuesday the 23rd of May 2023, Bernard Hyde provided a verbal statement to the Planning Inspectorate regarding Appeal APP forward slash A2280 forward slash W forward slash 22 forward slash 3313673 in relation to Trendport's application to overdevelop local villages and their community within Medway. Bernard's statement was presented at Gun Wharf on behalf of all Cliff and Cliffwood residents and members of the Medway Green Party. Here is his verbal statement. Um, Madam, thank you for allowing me to make a statement to this planning inquiry. My name is Bernard Hyde. I am a Medway resident with family living in Cliff. Medway has a beautiful natural setting. The geography of Medway with its hills, river estuary and countryside is a natural setting that other councils could only dream of. I have seen many natural harbours as a navigation officer cadet in the Merchant Navy and subsequently in my travels and Medway would rank among the best. Medway is densely populated. For strategic reasons, this area has been used to help defend our country and large areas of it are covered by row upon row of Victorian terrace houses built to service our Royal Navy and Army. Medway in consequence is much more densely populated than its neighbouring local authorities. Medway Unitary Authority has 1,446 people per square kilometre. Maidstone Borough Council has 440 people per square kilometre. Swale Borough Council has 410 people per square kilometre. And Gravesham Borough Council has 1,079 people per square kilometre. Medway consequently has 3.2 times the density of Maidstone, 3.5 times of Swale and 1.34 times that of Gravesham. Cliff Village has a riparian rural setting. Cliff Village sitting beside the River Thames is far less changed than much of the rest of Medway, but evidently now under increasing pressure for housing development. Medway housing need. 49 years ago, I qualified as an architect and 42 years ago as a town planner. And I am interested in what is and what might have been. I currently act as planning advisor to the Medway Green Party and I'm on the executive committee of the Royal Institute of British Architects, West Kent branch. Due to its historic overdevelopment, natural justice would suggest that Medway's housing targets would be based on a local housing needs assessment and that this authority would be relieved from any other external housing shortage pressures. The Medway Local Housing Needs Assessment 2021 states that Medway needs 55% of its housing need to be affordable houses, of which just over half should be rented accommodation. Cliff Village housing need. Cliff Village will be treated on the same basis and only expected to accommodate the natural growth in its population. The Trendport proposal represents a substantial increase in the population and would not therefore be supportable or justifiable. Cliff Village sits beside the Thames floodplain. 
cliff village sits beside the River Thames and is on the River Thames floodplain, a map to show the flooding around cliff in the foreseeable future. At the moment, flooding is most likely from tidal turges. Those of us who can remember the 1953 flood in this area of North Kent will know how devastating that can be. As time goes on, climate change and consequent sea level rises will play a bigger part, both reducing the available land area and in helping to deepen areas of low air pressure and in consequence increasing the potential strength of the tidal surges. Cliff Village is adjacent to internationally protected nature reserves. Cliff Village is adjacent to special protection areas and Ramsar sites for nature, which some migratory bird species rely on for breeding and feeding grounds. Sea level rise due to climate change will impact on these internationally protected breeding grounds and feeding areas and concentrate the bird population closer to Cliff Village. Residential area conflict with SPA and Ramsar sites. The residents of Cliff will no doubt be aware of the fragile nature of the nature reserve. But 26% of households in the United Kingdom own at least one cat. The planned substantial increase in the number of households will inevitably put the bird populations at greater risk, potentially with far-reaching international consequences. By its nature, the proposed relocation of the sports facilities will be in conflict with the adjacent special protection area, creating noise and disturbance by sports players and spectators, casual users and sightseers. Financial contributions to the Medway Birdwise scheme will, in this instance, be of no consequence due to the site's proximity to the protected areas. The local Royal Society for the Protection of Birds representative has advised me that as a charity, they do not have the resources to be as proactive as they would like. As an RSPB member, I am opposed to this development and support Medway Council in the refusal of the planning application. Reform of the National Planning Policy Framework. The RIBA West Kent branch is carrying out a study on the impact of the forthcoming levelling up and regeneration bill. Part of this study is the role that architects can play in helping to facilitate neighbourhood plans, which under the new Act will have the same status as the local plan. Another part of the study is the impact on planning inquiries and how they will be conducted, with a focus on their being hosted locally. Government guidance on hosting planning inquiries. As a Medway ratepayer, I would like to apologise for the facilities made available to this inquiry and feel confident that facilities available in Cliff Village would have provided more suitable accommodation. Local participation in the planning inquiry process will be given more importance under the new Act as local communities take on more responsibility for addressing housing need and other issues delegated to them by government. Improved energy efficiency standards for new buildings. A recent change in government on Medway Council will mean that the local authority will impose building regulation standards for energy efficiency equivalent to Code 6 of the Code for Sustainable Homes that was scrapped by the Conservative government in 2015. If this goes ahead, as promised, all new housing in Medway will be required to be net zero carbon, with consequent impacts on building orientation and layout. Thank you. I have just made a note as well, Madam. Um, Ramsar sites are wetlands of international importance 
that have been designated under the criteria of the Ramsar Convention on Wetlands for containing representative, rare or unique wetland types or for their importance in conserving biological diversity. The Ramsar Site Convention 1971 provides the only international mechanism for protecting sites of global importance and is thus of key conservation significance. Thank you. For more information about Bernard Hyde or the Medway Green Party, please drop us an email. Coordinator at medway.greenparty.org.uk Visit our website www.medway.greenparty.org.uk or check out our socials on Facebook at Medway Green Party and Twitter at Medway Greens. Thank you for watching.